Hi, my name is Patty, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified when I post new videos. I tend to post mommy, baby, lifestyle, and some cleaning videos. So if you're into that, just keep watching it. I'm super excited for today's video. I have Loki's like room decor haul. So I already did a like nursery tour, but we like moved into the house like in April and then she was born in May so I really didn't have a lot of time and I like really wasn't worried about it like I was like she's not really even going to be in here that much in the beginning so I didn't put too much effort into it but yeah I did a little room tour and since then I've like already made some like updates but I really wanted to like actually like make it like her room so I bought a bunch of new things like curtains decor this and that so I'm going to show you all of it in this video and then there's going to be like a part two and, I'm, and then like the actual you know room tour so yeah let's just get into it I have a bunch of things over here I'm just going to kind of go through it like one by one and I'll tell you where I got everything from like I don't know like the exact prices of everything but I did just go to Target this morning and I got a bunch of it right now. So yeah, it's another reason I want to get this video out because I think they're like making room for all of like the like college dorm stuff, like the back to cool school stuff. So I think like they're like phasing out some of the other stuff. So there was like a couple things in here that were on clearance. So yeah, make sure you get to your local Target if you like some of these items. So yeah, let me just get right into this. All right, first thing on the list is this cute little light box. I got it from the um, the dollar spot at Target and it was five dollars. This is one of the things I just picked up today and I just thought it was so cute. Like I can like change it all around but I really like how it has just like the little letters because obviously she doesn't really know words yet too much. Well she does and she doesn't. She's like a year old so she's like kind of talking but she really likes the alphabet so I thought that would just be really cute. I don't have the batteries in it but there's just a little switch on the side so you can turn it on and off. But I thought it was like so cute and it's not like massive like I don't want this big one like I know I'm never gonna change it around let's be honest so I thought this was super cute and girly this next piece I got from home goods now this is gonna be all over the place because I have like an actual basket over here so I'm just kind of pulling out of it so it's gonna be a little all over the place but yeah I got this from home goods it's like supposed to be like a little diamond like a little gold diamond so my theme I was going for was like kind of like the pink and teal with like accents of gold so I thought this was super cute and this one it has the tag on here it says $9.99 I'm not sure if that's what I paid because there were like all those like flags all over the store of like certain things that were on sale and I forget which things were on sale and what wasn't but either way, it was only $10. So, yes, I got this from Target. It was, like, 6 bucks, And it wasn't actually in with, like, all, of like, the kids' stuff. And that's kind of, like, a little tip I have for you because I feel like unless you went with, like, a specific theme, like, like got all the stuff from, like, the same spot, it was, like, kind of hard looking because they had, like, very specific, like, either, like, dinosaurs, like, very princess or, like, I, I just... I knew I was going to get stuff from all over, so it was kind of hard, and I wasn't getting any new bedding either, because some of it all went together, so I was just kind of looking all throughout the store, and this was, I think, with just the regular decor stuff. They have, like, a bunch of these little box ones, but yeah, super cute and pretty inexpensive. This I bought from At Home, and if you have an At Home near you, you need to go there. Like, I love that store so much, and they already have some holiday stuff up. FYI, like if you're obsessed like me, especially with Halloween, oh my god, just go there. I know it's July, but, but yeah, so I got this from at home like a while ago. I don't remember how much this was, but I don't think it was that expensive because all the stuff there is like reasonably place priced. And it says, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. This was like the first thing that I bought that I was like, you know what, I think I want to do like accents of gold. I already had like pink and teal kind of from like her nursery nursery just threw stuff in that room but i just thought it was so cute and it's so tiny too now this was a steal like i want to say that it was originally like 16 bucks but this is one of the things that like they were just like phasing out and it was like four bucks for this cute teal clock Ugh, i thought it was so cute and it has the black and so does the other sign like black wasn't really like a theme i was going for but at first i didn't want to get this because it had black in it but i mean a bunch of the other stuff have like black ads since I guess in it so I thought this was super cute and then I saw this and I was just like I don't know if I should get it but I really like it and it's like this gold wire basket and actually the gold 
for the diamond is like the same exact color like it was like the perfect match because sometimes like there's all varying types of gold like some are a little bit more like brassy looking some are like high shine some are like dull so I was just really glad that I was got it to match and it has like the hooks that you can like you're supposed to hang it on the wall too which I thought was great so I'm really excited about this I have I don't have any idea of what I'm going to put in it yet I have to see like how it hangs on the wall and like how sturdy it actually is but you know, I figured I could always just throw like a stuffed animal or something in it. You know, I just thought it was a really cute accent. This is the last piece that I got from at home. And this was like, kind of, I bought the, that first little sign and then I went back a little while later and then I found this and I was like, this is it. This is it. It's kind of big. I don't think I'm going to be able to put it in like the whole frame. Like I might have to do like a better view of it, but princesses. <laughs> It's huge. And I think this was the reason why it was so hard to like find like, you know, like do like a really like cute gallery wall because I was like, this thing is so awkwardly shaped. Like it's really long and skinny and like short. And I'm like, how, what, how am I? But like, I figured it all out. Like I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all these as long as it fits on the wall, like praying if it's on the wall. But yeah, I just thought this was so pretty. And I was so glad I bought it when I did like at home, like, I mean, things do change, like, and some things do stay the same, so it's kind of like hit or miss, like, you don't know, you might be able to find it again, you might not, like, it's, it's like hit or miss, so I would just say, just pick it up if you really like it. Okay, and then the last sign for the wall is this cute one, and I bought it from Target a little while ago, and it says, reach for the stars, so cute. <laughs> And I was so mad. So I bought a coffee, like that, that Target trip. I got a coffee and I'm walking around the store with it, you know, no, no problems, no issues. I go to leave and of course it's like raining. So I was like making sure all the bags were like double bagged. And I go to get, get it in my cart because I didn't feel like taking the cart out. I spilled my coffee all down the whole front of it. Like it's really faint, like you really can't see it that well. I didn't really wash it, I just wiped it off. So. I was like, maybe I might use a magic eraser, but I was like, only if you can like really see it. But it was one of those days I was like, really, Patricia, you really just spilled coffee all down the sign. And I was like, this is so cute too. But yeah, that's just me. Okay, I'm back with the rest of the stuff. So we went to Ikea last week. Yeah, because today is Sunday, so technically it was last week. I cannot keep my day straight at all with this being on summer break. <sighs> ridiculous anyway so yeah we went to Ikea a couple days ago like last week and I was looking for I forget what the name of the one is but I would like seen like this hack of like how to hang like books on the wall and they were like these they were actually like these spice racks which I was like oh because they're kind of small but like we like walked through the whole place and then we went through like the place downstairs and when I got to the kids section I actually saw these which I was like why wouldn't they just use these like this? That's ridiculous because it's like twice the size. The spice rocks were so small. But yeah, they're these little, they're these little shelves. I'll put like the name of it like on the screen or something and it'll probably be listed down below because it's something I'm pretty sure I can find online. If I can find some things online, I'll put it down below. But because I got it from all over, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I got this and you can like stick the books in and there's like a little ledge on the inside so they kind of stay there and they don't like fly out but I thought that would be so cute to like hang on the wall so I put together so far two of them I bought a third just in case I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put them yet like I'm I'm debating a couple different things but yeah so that's why I only put two of them together so far because I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna have but just in case I have a third this I like randomly saw at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was like so cute and actually when I brought it home it matches the Disney princess sign and it's just like a little light cover I thought like so cute and this set is $7.99 so kind of expensive but it's cute and it actually matches it pretty well like the drawing design of it so I was like, that's perfect since I bought it from two different stores. And that's kind of the tricky part with buying things from different places. You're not sure if it's going to fit. So I kept like the receipts for most of this stuff just in case. And even like I said, like, I'm not sure if this is all going to fit in the room, how I have it like visioned out. So we'll see in that part two video. And then finally, okay, like I said, I bought this house in April. She was due, like she was born in May. Like I bought, like I bought most of this stuff for her room, like 
I'm in Spragmans, which I don't recommend. Like I bought all curtains, I bought all beige curtains for upstairs. Like why would I buy beige curtains for a little girl's room? Like not even just like, oh, I'm like, I don't like pink. Like, and I picked like a neutral color, like maybe a yellow or something or a green. No, I just bought beige because it matched all of them upstairs. I don't know why I thought that'd be a good idea, but that's what I did. So I finally picked up curtains for her room as well. And they're like the same type, like the blackout ones, like the same, same pretty much like brand, but I bought them in like this pinkish color. It's kind of like a cool toned light pink, which I think is really pretty. I like the more like cool tone colors, like, and not like the crazy in your face colors. And then this was also a steal because on here there's like a clearance sticker. Oh, I bought the curtains actually from Walmart. Um... But, so this next thing I bought from Target this morning, and it's one of those things that was like on sale. Now the sticker on here said 1048, but there is like nothing on there that's 1048. And when I looked, like when I looked on my receipt, I guess they must have like marked it down again, or maybe it was like an additional percent off. It was like $4. I was like, this is crazy. Now I know it's like, and it even like, it has like the like rubbery feeling on the back of it. So I know it's supposed to be like a, um, what's it called like a bath mat but I just thought like it matched with these colors perfectly and I was like you know what like even if it doesn't work in her room like I don't really have like I have one of those like what are like those like foamy type of mats in her bathroom I was like I could always just put it in her bathroom regardless and you can also return stuff from clearance at Target because I made sure to ask but I was just like I don't know I really think it would look cool so it's like this like teal color, like just your typical bath mat, like there's nothing that fancy about it. But I just thought the color was like beautiful with everything else. And then I think this is one of like the new college pieces because this is this one wasn't on sale, but it's one of those like, it's hard to show, but <laughs> one of those like really like plush, and this is like so plush. And this girl, she loves blankets, pillows, all of that. So I was like, I could either just make like a little like reading nook with this and like the tiny carpet because I was going to buy a carpet from Hobby Lobby, but it was like one of those like faux furry type things. And I was like, I think KJ is going to hate this. I was like, I don't know. Should I buy it? Shouldn't I buy it? And now I'm glad I didn't because even though it was on sale, like I think it would have only been, it would have been like $12. So even if this is still $10, it still would have been cheaper. So I'm pretty glad I got, I waited because that was pink too. And I was like, eh, too much pink. I like to have like the mix of the colors. Like I don't like everything to be like one color. Like that's just boring to me. But yeah, this is so soft. And I was like, even if I don't end up using it in her room, oh, this is definitely coming in my room. Because I have no theme to my room whatsoever. Like, I'm typical mom here. Like, I made sure, like, KJ's, like, basement downstairs looked so cool. Like, so superhero comic-y. Because, obviously, Loki, we love comics. And now I'm, like, redoing Lowe's room. Like, I'm just, like, whatever. I don't really care about, like, myself. I don't care about my room. Like, whatever. It's, it's whatever. So... Yeah, that is all the stuff I picked up for her room. Now, I already have, like, sheets from, like, because I had, like, in mind, like, things that I liked, like, color-wise, but then I never really went through and, like, bought, like, actual stuff. Like, I only really bought, like, the sheets. So, I feel like everything just, like, cohesively goes together so well, and I am so happy because I've been trying to look for stuff forever now. Like, it's been crazy, so... Yeah, I hope you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you get to see, check out the uh, decorate and room tour. So yeah, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up because I'm probably going to do more dedicated stuff to like other parts of the room or not to the room, to the house. So yeah, if you like that, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing or like where else do you like to shop for decor stuff? So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.